Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I would like to do a coloring chat today. I'm going to color out of 100 Flowers by Jade Summer. This is another requested video that I'd like to get checked off my to-do list. <laughs> so, the picture that I picked out is this one. I wanted to get one that wasn't too simplistic, but yet wasn't overly complicated either. Before I forget about it, let's uh, put a sheet of behind. I'm notorious for starting a picture and then realizing, oh, I didn't put a blotter page behind. So I'm going to use my Arteza Everblend markers today, the 120 set. And we're just going to straight color this and uh, we'll see what we add at the end. I'm thinking I'm going to add some of my Pentel Dual Metallic and uh, just do a little bit of enhancing to it. So let's start out with what looks like lilies to me and I'm just going to make them tiger lilies. So let's make them orange. Let's see. How about pumpkin orange? 94, 23. No chisel tip for me. <laughs> Although this is a big enough area where maybe I'll attempt it. I don't know. I don't know. You and you know me and chisels. I don't know how Ann does it. I know it only takes practice, but. And I know all you got to do is, you know, learn how to turn it so you get the right angle, but. Mm. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all healthy and your family is all healthy. Everybody getting sick of, well, let me zoom in a little bit, sorry. Everybody getting sick of being shut in. For those of you who are not essential workers, I imagine. Unless you're like me and it, <laughs> I'm at home all the time anyhow, so it really hasn't changed my life much. And I know some of you guys are at home typically too. Now, of course, there's changes for all of us in some regard. You know, with how we go about, you know, when we're, when we are outside of the house. Not being able to have friends and family over. I think that's some of the hardest parts, you know, for everybody, right? Is not being able to see your kids. Everybody's learning how to uh, video chat, right? I think it's hilarious when you hear these stories about how older folk are learning how to use programs they would have never been exposed to. <laughs> there was this one, I can't remember what show it was on, but how the granddaughter was teaching her grandma how to use, I think it was FaceTime, and it was hilarious. <laughs> and I believe her grandma was in a nursing home. And uh, so this granddaughter was outside her window because, of course, she couldn't go in. And she was trying to tell her grandma what to do. And yeah, I guess it to, it got to be quite uh, quite funny. <laughs> These days we got to look at the humor and everything, and so. 
I want to deeply, deeply apologize for my last color in chat. You know, when I thought back about what I all talked in there, I really vented on you guys, and I'm sorry. I was just getting so frustrated <laughs> with the babysitting situation and everything that was going wrong. And, yeah, just getting to be a bit much for me. And I guess it really came out in the color and chat, so... I am sorry about that. I guess we all need to vent from time to time, but I guess you guys don't come here to uh, listen to my problems. So, <laughs> again, I am sorry. What is everybody up to this weekend? How's the weather by you? We uh, had a snowstorm last weekend. I forgot to mention in my coloring chat. Yeah, I don't know what it is about April. Boy, oh boy, the past few years now, this is our third year in a row, we got this big snowstorm in April. And at least this time it wasn't a foot of snow like uh, the past two years, but we did get, what was our total? Like seven inches, which is bad enough. And then very high winds. Thank heavens it was a very wet snow. It wasn't fluffy at all. Number one, it would have been many more inches. Whoops, forgot a pedal here. And number two, with them high winds, oh my gosh, would we have had drifting of snow. But because it was so wet, it, it did still drift, but not near as bad as it could have been. Well, that got much brighter than I thought it was going <laughs> to. That's okay. Um, and then we're going to do the daisies, or what I'm going to think of as daisies. And I'm going to make them yellow daisies. So, let's see. Maybe I will try Tuscan Sun 949. And see how this goes. I think I am going to go with the... Smaller tip then. I'm just more comfortable with this. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot more control versus the chisel. And the, the chisel tip, as you all probably know, gives off a lot more ink. And for me, that means bleeding outside the lines a lot more. Especially when I'm coloring on camera, because for some reason, I always seem to be in more of a hurry <laughs> when I'm on camera. I don't know what it is. Oh, I know what we forgot. Just a minute. Let's do our, let's back out. Let's do our positive thinking for today. All right, it says, send out love and harmony. Put your mind and body in a peaceful place and then allow the universe to work in the perfect way that, it's, that it knows how. And that's by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. Yes, love and harmony. We need to put our mind and body in a peaceful place, don't we? Very good for today. All right. Just those nice, short little quotes I think are awesome. <laughs> okay, let's zoom back in. So that's our positive thought for today. We'll get back to these pale yellow daisies. So, update on the house selling and buying. We went and looked at a house today that we really liked, but there were just some bad things about it, too. 
Number one was the garage. It was supposedly a two-car garage, but it was a tandem garage, meaning one would park in front of the other, not side by side. So that would have been a bummer, but maybe could be doable because I don't leave very often at all. <laughs> uh, maybe once a week. So, you know, I guess we could have maybe lived with that. But then when we went in there to look at it, yeah, there was no way two cars would have fit in there. So, and even if we could manage to fit two cars in there, there would have been nowhere to keep lawnmowers and snow blowers and, you know, all the other stuff you store in a garage. Um... So, yeah, that was one big problem. Another big problem was it was a very, very small lot. I mean, neighbors were right up next to you. And the biggest thing, though, that kind of made our minds up was the shingling. You could tell was very old. The shingles were starting to peel and curl up. I mean, it was obvious that it wouldn't have, would have needed to have been re-shingled very shortly, which, as many of you know, is not a cheap expense. So, otherwise it was a nice three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath, which is just what we're looking for. And a two-car garage would be nice. <laughs> So, but I do have some positive news on the house selling front. Well, good and bad, I guess. I had a house showing on Wednesday night. And I heard from my realtor today when we went and looked at um, the house that we did, yeah, good and bad. They actually really liked the house and they actually want to put an offer in. Woohoo! Now, the bad news. <laughs> it's always got to be a flip side, right? They cannot get, their bank won't give them a pre approval letter until they're back to work. Which, yes, makes sense. You can't blame a bank for wanting that. But who the heck knows when that's going to be? Our governor, you know, just extended the stay at home from the end of April to the end of May. So it's going to be at least into June before Wisconsin really starts to open up again. So... Obviously, these people are not essential workers, so the first time they could possibly get back to work would be uh, into June, so that's an awful long ways away, but we'll see. We shall see. In the meantime, I was thinking of looking into how darn expensive <laughs> it would be to re-carpet that humongo family room downstairs. I know it would be a few thousand, but I thought, well, I'll give some carpet company some business <laughs> when I get my stimulus check and then, you know, add to that because that definitely won't cover it. But in talking to my realtor today, she said, you know, maybe concentrate for now on, and I've been talking to Bob about this one too, and now especially since my realtor mentioned it, I think we really should go ahead and do it, is uh, replacing the sinks in the two bathrooms because they're kind of outdated. And 
I actually had a comment on the previous house showing about, I have a wallpaper border in the kitchen and it is painted a sage green, which, or the kitchen itself is, which I didn't care for when I moved in because I am not a green person, but eh, you know, and so I never changed it. And yeah, there's a, a border around the top and <laughs> the last house showing, yeah, I even made a comment about the outdated wallpaper in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, that was a new one. <laughs> so I'm going to see, let's do a dark center. Ginger 4103. I'm going to see if I can possibly get that wallpaper border off and then maybe repaint the kitchen. But that includes having to repaint the laundry room too because that's right next door, <laughs> if you will. Um, and it is also painted this sage green with a different wallpaper border. I thought the wallpaper border in there was really cute because it had um, clothes hanging on a line and stuff. And I thought that was adorable for a laundry room. <laughs> but I guess I'll look at getting that off too. I don't know. What should we make this? Or should we leave it white? Or should we make it a, let's make it a darker yellow. Let's go with amber yellow, 9424. 9424, okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. So yeah, good and bad news on the home selling buying front. There's the housing market around here. There just haven't been a lot of new houses, even before the COVID crisis. And normally it ramps up in spring. Well, of course, this year that is definitely all going to be different. I imagine some are waiting, you know, until some of this, you know, the worst of this passes. So it's, yeah, not a lot of new stuff out there to look at, unless you want to spend three, four, five hundred thousand. There's quite a few of those expensive houses out there. <laughs> and maybe the area that you live that maybe isn't that expensive, like out in California, I know. The housing is a lot more expensive than it is here. But around here, a three, four, or five hundred thousand dollar house is quite a bit. <laughs> you see a lot in the two hundred thousands, but uh, yeah, even that would be out of reach for us. Always oh, not rich folk, we poor folk. Okay, I don't want to make yellow what I'm assuming are roses. I think I want to make red roses. Let's pick a darker red, huh? How about, how about do we want ruby red or wine red? Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's pick, let's pick wine red, 415. Four, one, five, four, one, five. I still really wish on these markers they would change this around and put the name of the color in larger print and then the, the number in smaller down below. I don't know about you, but I look for the color name before I look for the number. <laughs> That's just maybe me. I don't know. But, yeah, we're just going to color this all in. We're going to be just real simple today. Just some fun, straight coloring, which is what I love about Jade Summers coloring books. 
I see today there was just um, a new video put up on YouTube about Jade Summers' newest book that just came out. And I won't be buying it. It's um, about sloths. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be purchasing that one. But for anybody that likes sloths, Eh, I should have picked the other color, I think, which is more of a cranberry. This almost looks like, well, might change though once it dries. This almost looks like a red-brown. Maybe we'll do one this color and one the other color. Because, <laughs> yeah, I ain't digging this. Looks like a very ugly colored rose. <laughs> I wanted a nice deep red, but this doesn't look too, doesn't look too red. I have a snoring kitty behind me. It's got to be Misty. She's the only one I ever hear snore. <laughs> Misty is my biggest baby. Poor thing. When I got home, I went and grabbed Bob and I some supper. Get home, she's snoozing in my chair in the living room. So picked her up, cuddled her for a little bit, and put her on the couch. Well, then we ate supper. Came in here to do some more recording, and here she's in my chair by my desk. So I'm like, boy, I gotta just keep moving you, poor cat. Okay, let's pick more of a deep, more on the red side, because this was wine red, right? Yeah, that was a bad one to pick. Uh, let's try the... Let's try the raspberry red, 4D5. 4D5. Okay, we'll see if this works better. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna like this much better. Yeah, that rose is pretty ugly. <laughs> Well, they make roses pretty much any color these days. Maybe not as many as carnations. Holy cow, you can get carnation in any color under the sun now. Now this isn't really reddish either. My heavens. It's just a shade lighter than that. What the hey. So yeah, went in and grabbed Bob and I some Panda Ex yeah, Panda Express. And I had some teriyaki chicken and rice. Bob loves their uh, orange chicken, so he had that and rice. And so now we're both full. <laughs> And I got a little fly buzzing around in here. What the heck? We have one nice day. We got little bugs flying around. Oh, yeah. That's what I was saying after our snowstorm last weekend. It was just gorgeous out today. Because after it snowed all week, we stayed so below normal. None of it was melting. It's like, oh, come on. Poor Robins didn't know what to do. <laughs> but yeah, then each day it got a little bit nicer. And today was just gorgeous. And I would say about 90% of the snow is now gone. Yay for sun. <laughs> 
I like that rose a little bit better, but on camera they don't look too bad. I don't know. Yeah, I like them better on camera than what they look like in real life. Well, no, nah, I guess they're okay. What if, uh, what if, uh, let's do our greenage. <laughs> greenage? Okay, yeah. Our leaves. What color? Let's go with apple green. Five, four, six. So, there are a couple of things I want to ask you guys. Number one, I am thinking of, and I've had many comments about this, asking if I would do this, <laughs> is last year I had done a whole series of videos. It was seven parts long showing my entire coloring book collection. And that wasn't even with completed pages. <laughs> I have been asked, like I said, a number of times if I would do another series of videos and also show my completed pages. Is that something you guys would be interested in? And if so, how long do you think the videos should be? Half hour, 45 minutes, hour? I don't want to lose anybody by making them too long. I think last year I made them between 45 minutes and an hour. And it was still seven parts long. And that was without even showing all of my finished pages. <laughs> so I have to, I mean, you got to keep in mind, the shorter I make the videos, the more parts. Um, but that really wouldn't be a problem on my end. So, yeah, let me know what you think the ideal length of the videos should be. And, of course, I will not be linking all of the books um, or doing complete flip-throughs of anything. I will just show each book and then show what I have completed. Now, of course, I have many, many, many books I have not colored in at all. You know, with, uh, I have a huge coloring book collection, as you probably know. And no, I have not counted them. I used to, and I have a video out there even <laughs> of using an app or you, it can also be on your computer um, called library thing. And it's to keep track of your books in your library. I was using it to keep track of my coloring books because all you have to do is uh, scan in the ISBN code on the back of the book and it'll automatically pop up and it'll you know put it in your library. And then you just have to manually enter it if it can't be found. Well, that doesn't happen too often, especially if it's from Amazon. It'll be there. <laughs> that library is huge, the database that it draws from. And there's a couple different databases you can select from and everything. So, um but my coloring book collection has changed so drastically over the past year. I have gotten rid of so many books and added so many different new ones that, yeah, it's, it's changed a lot since last year. I have given away many books. I, I get, also give a lot to my daughter, Coloring Supplies and coloring book. She got into coloring big time last year also. So yeah, give her a lot of stuff and gave her a bunch of stuff at Christmas time. I bought her some of the, the big set of the 
Kelly Arts. She loved that because she is big time into markers. So yeah, give quite a bit to her. So yeah, many things that I had in my last series of videos, and I think I did that last, didn't have my channel too long, I know. Probably last February, somewhere thereabouts, March maybe. Um, so yeah, this year's would be drastically different. <laughs> but yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you think about recording that series of videos and how long the videos should be. How long do you typically like to see those types of videos? I would appreciate it. Let's go with a darker green for the stems. Let's do, let's go with sea green, 554. Nope, that's 556. What does 556 five, look like? No, we don't want that. We don't want that. We want five, five. Well, where in the world? It's five, four, three. Here we go. Is it five, five, four? Yeah, sea green. Oh, it just doesn't look like the tip. <laughs> I'm like, is that right? Okay, so that was one question about you know, showing my coloring book collection. Now, the other question I had for you guys is I was thinking, seeing as how I don't do live videos at all, and I don't anticipate doing live videos at all, um, there is another thing, and I don't know if all of you have heard about it. I'm sure some of you had or have, I should say, um, called a premiere. And a premiere is kind of the best of both worlds. It's where I would still record a video like this, a color and chat, and then when I upload it to YouTube, I schedule it for a certain day and time. And you who are subscribed to my channel would get notification of when that video will be going live. Just as if um, when uh, somebody you're subscribed to goes live, does a live stream, you get notification that it's going live in 30 minutes. Uh, the same thing would happen with this. Um, only it's not a true live. It would be the recorded video that I recorded ahead of time, but I would be able to interact with you guys and still do a live chat as we watch the recorded video. So again, it's kind of a, a combination of a recorded video and a live. <laughs> Does that make any sense whatsoever? I think I'm going to make this blue. Um, so, yeah, I was wondering, 8274, um, let me find this first, if anybody would be interested in a premiere video, and if so, what would be a good time for you to have this premiere? And I know it's not going to be good for everybody. Now, I am in Central Time in the United States. So I'd have to kind of coordinate it <laughs> for me, too. I wouldn't be able to do it, of course, during the week, during the day. Um, the only times I would be able to do it would be Possibly in the evening during the week, like uh, uh, it would have to be after 7.30, so like maybe 8 o'clock Central Time. 
or a weekend. Preferably maybe in the evening also because during the day I do all these recordings. Um, so again, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, if people would be able to make it. And if you can't, that's fine. You know, just like live streams or just pop in and say hi. But <laughs> I do that once in a while. Just pop in, you know, give the give the live streamer a, a thumbs up, you know, say hi. And, oh, you know, just wanted to say hi and I got to go type of thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you could answer that question, if that would be anything you'd be interested in and when. So two questions I really want feedback on, again, would be the videos about um, my coloring book collection and how long they should be. And then if you would be interested in a premiere and what would be a good time and day. So I will take the majority, um, you know, what, whatever uh, people vote on the most, indicate would be the best for them. Uh, so, yeah, so I've been toying with a couple of ideas. I don't, th <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be able to do a live because I would be watching the chat so much I wouldn't be doing any coloring at all <laughs> or very little. <laughs> I would just get totally distracted by the chat and I'd just sit there and gab with you guys and not color at all. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I would definitely have a really hard time with a live stream. I don't know how people do it. I really don't. And some of them are just, you know, they get so much color, but yet they keep up with the chat, too. It's like, how do you do that? <laughs> I would not. Nope, I would not be able to do that. So yeah, that's why I haven't even really looked into doing lives. It's like, nah, I don't think so. Plus the fact there are so many people doing lives right now that, you know, you don't want to step on other people's toes. You want them to do their live and not have yours at the same time and la di da di da And uh, yeah, it would be hard to figure out a time when it would work that, you know, not other people are on at the same time. Okay, so what are we going to, I want to make the, probably make the bow the same color as this. Should we go with a, either a light blue to coordinate with that? Maybe that's what we'll do. I was thinking maybe a pale pink or a pale purple. I think we'll go with the light blue. Uh, pale aqua blue, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Two, six, seven. Okay. So, yeah, I guess those were the two biggies that I wanted to ask you guys about that I really wanted feedback on because if I am going to start doing my video or my video oh lordy my coloring book collection videos I gotta I want to kind of plan it out as far as you know I do have all my coloring books organized by, of course, you knew that, by uh, author and, and genre. So I have like all my pattern books together, all my Jade Summers together, you know, my hard covers, you know, so I would want to break it down into, you know, sections like that. 
but then, you know, try to figure out how much I can get through in one video, depending on how long you guys kind of let me know that you would like them to be, so. And it does take a lot of work to do those videos because, boy, I remember last year doing it. I had two card tables behind me. I had a card table to the left of me that had all the coloring books that I was going to show yet. Then I had a card table behind me um, that I put all the books on after I showed them because I had two printers on my side desk here. Well, this year, I don't have that second printer. I gave it to my son. And so I probably could use the desk over there. But, uh, yeah, I'll, have to, I'll figure out some kind of setup that'll work. I'm sure I'll come up with something. Bella, I don't know why you do that. When I start recording, eventually she's got to come over here and start digging on the carpet. I don't know. I just don't know why she does that. She is getting so shaggy looking. I didn't think they were doing grooming. Um, but I found out they are. Maybe I'll do the dark blue in the middle. They do do. Do do. They are doing a grooming appointments, so Bella goes in next Sunday, and she needs it. Felt like asking them, do you think you could uh, cut human hair, too? I'm getting pretty shaggy, too. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Next weekend, I may have Heather cut mine. Or, and I don't know how this would work if she'd be able to do it during the week. Depends on, you know, what time she'd get here, how well the kids are behaving that day. Where's my other blue? Here we go. Boy, this didn't take long at all to do. Got a few things to do yet. Because to me, I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be. To me, it kind of reminded me of, you know, when you get a bouquet, I better put this way, <laughs> when you get a bouquet of flowers, how they have the cellophane kind of behind it or it's kind of wrapped up in it. That's kind of how I'm looking at this. So I want to do a really pale color in the back. I think, what do I have that's super, super light? I was thinking either a really pale pink or a pale purple. Or even maybe a pale gray. I hardly ever color with gray, you know that. Definitely don't want red, yellow, orange, or blue. Well, I just said pale blue, didn't I? No, I said pale pink or pale purple. Maybe because there is no purple in here, we could do... Hmm, I'm looking at my colors over here. We could do a darker purple and then the real pale purple background. How does that sound? Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to pick the darkest purple for down here, though. Let's go just a shade darker. Orchid purple, 882. You knew I had to get purple in here somewhere. Right? It's not a Lisa picture unless we have purple in it. No, I actually do not get purple or put purple in every picture. 
just three quarters of them. No, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Oh, here comes Misty. I think it's her. Yep. Seeing her out of the corner of my eye, I assumed it was her. It wouldn't be my chubby Callie, because I don't know if she could jump up there. And I knew it wasn't black, so that left Misty. Process of elimination. Oh, but you can't step over the markers now. Mm -hmm. They're going to try, though. Yeah, she's busy rubbing on them, so the case that they're in. It's getting kind of shadowy here, isn't it? Maybe before I finish, I'm going to turn the... It's starting to get dark out, so I just quick turned on the... Uh, Lights up on top, but yeah, I think I need the one underneath here too now. As it's getting darker outside, let me just finish this. I love how late it's staying light out now. Oh my gosh. It is so awesome because right now it's oh, going on 6.30 and yeah, it is still so nice. And bright out. Okay. Am I making you guys dizzy? Sorry about that. There. How's that? Yeah. Eh, it's not quite so shadowy now. Okay. So we're going to go with the really pale, pale purple. What's the lightest one? How about Periwinkle? 8277. Yeah. You really want to come over here. Don't you put her tat. Let's see how... I hope this is light enough where it's not going to detract from the Pikachu. But I really wanted to put something in the background, of course, because of the frame that they gave it. Oh, my stomach is devouring supper. I hope you can't hear that. Gurgle, gurgle. It's saying it's about time you fed me. I didn't really eat lunch, so it's saying, yes, food. Okay. How many people have had to put uh, vacation plans on hold? Hopefully, if you had something planned for July or August, you can kind of maybe still plan for it and not make, you know, not cancel things yet. You know, who knows? I I would think that you know each state is you know going to be different. I know President Trump said that, you know, he wanted to, you know, say when everything opened, but I think it's more going to be up to the governors who are more familiar with their particular state. Because definitely some states are not affected as badly as, say, New York and California Illinois, Detroit. I mean, some some of the states are just really, really bad. Of course, New York being the worst, the hardest hit by far. And what a job Cuomo has done, right? I think he has been so fantastic through this whole thing. Wow. Kudos to him. That is just my opinion, but I think he has just been fantastic keeping the people informed and just how he looked at everything, I think, is just, I don't know. I, I just thought he did a very good job, or is doing, not like it's over yet. Sounded like it was 
flattening out though for them, which is fantastic news. I mean, I'm sure they still have new cases, but it seems to be slowing down anyways. We've been having some new cases, but um, at least it's not speeding up here at all anymore. But, you know, Wisconsin was never hard hit to begin with. Um, as bad as a lot of other states, anyhow. But I think those of us that come from states that have a lot of rural areas, you know, like our farming communities, where we don't have the quite the interaction of people like the big cities do. And that's why I think the uh, states that got hit the hardest are those with the big major airports. You know, New York and uh, Detroit, well, Michigan, I should say, Chicago with O'Hare, you know, Minnesota has a big airport, and, well, I'm sure there's others around the country. But you would think, you know, with a large, large airport, yeah, that, that can really bring in a lot of stuff, especially if you have international flights. So I'm sure New York and O'Hare are two major international airports. So I can see why they got hit hard. But fingers crossed we will shortly be on the downside of all of this, right? It can't go on forever. And like they say, we are all in this together and it sure is bringing out the good in a lot of people. Yes, there are bad ones out there too as far as price gougers and, oh, it makes me so mad sometimes. <laughs> Let's zoom it back out. Boy, in under an hour, we got this baby colored butt. Let's get out the Pentel, these dual hybrids. Isn't this case cute? It's by Zip It. Got it on Amazon. Holds my Pentel. I got two sets in here. Um, you know, I never realized on these things that on the side, it gives you the color name. I didn't know that. I suppose all of you guys did. Like this one is orange with metallic yellow. And then we have the green with metallic blue. I didn't know they had those names. So, let's see. Let's see if we can do something over the lines. So let's get this one, which is orange plus metallic yellow. We're just going to, you know, make some enhancements and make it sparkly because these pens are so awesome. And when I do color by number, of course, I don't get a chance to use these babies. And they're so pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't look at it. You're too far away. Move in, huh? Get closer. Get closer. Don't be shy. Oh, gosh, that is so pretty. Just that little bit adds so much. I don't know if I should go over these. Or should we do it? Why don't we do the... Well, let's do this first. Make up your mind, Lisa. Make up your mind. Got to catch up on some YouTube videos tonight while these are copying over to my computer and rendering and uploading. I can do some coloring and catch up on other color tubus videos. Okay, let's get the black, and this has um, red metallic, right? Yeah. So I think we'll maybe use it in here, too. And I want to see what it looks like on here. Let 
These things are so awesome. So pretty. It's the little things in life, right? Especially right now. Enjoy all the little things that bring you joy. Oh, that's so pretty. Can't see the sparkle. Come on, cooperate. Well, maybe when I'm all done. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use this. I think I'll use the same pen for the little dots. See how juicy these things are? Wow. These things are just, oh, nicest gel pens ever. They are a little bit more pricey, but like they say, you get what you pay for. Okay, and I think we'll color in the center one. And then we'll do this one. Oh boy, my light's flickering again. When I'm done with this, I have to look and see if that thing is starting to come unplugged. That's what the problem was last time, so... I hope it's not driving you too bananas. We're almost done, so... Alrighty. So there's that. Let's get the green. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't smear that. Boy, this really does add a lot, doesn't it? That mics, it's all pretty. Who doesn't like sparkle and glitter? And if you don't, you are not a colorist. <laughs> well, I suppose some don't like the glitter. I shouldn't say that. It works so great over marker. Oh, beautiful. Alright, then we just have the yellow and the blue. Okay, let's get the yellow out. And this has, let's see, this is gold. Yeah, just a gold. It doesn't say it's, yeah, just gold. Okay, is that dry? Okay, boy, that dries fast too. That's nice. Oh, that adds so much to the flowers. Ooh, my little, my little flying bug is back. Did I get you? No, flew away. I heard it laughing at me. Na 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 boo boo, as Maddie would say. She go na 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 boo boo. You can't catch me. <laughs> I always tell her she has such a cute little dupa, so now she'll go running away from me. Grandma, catch my cute little dupa. <laughs> so then I gotta go chasing her around the circle. And if I'm hanging on to Levi, he's just hanging on for dear life as I'm running around chasing Maddie. And she says it so snottily. Is that a word? Snotty. She says it so snotty. Snottily. Good heavens. You can't catch my cute little loop. Oh, 
Or else he's like, Grandma, come catch my cute little goopa. <laughs> Uh-oh, I gave her an ego. Let's see. Do we have... Do we have... Do we have... Do we have, like, a brownish color? That's orange. What can we put in the metal? I don't know if I want the black with the red. Hmm, what's this one? What is this? Silver. How would... No, no, because that looks gold. We don't want silver and gold. Silver and gold. Oh, ba 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 bum Oh, I got to put something in there. I don't want to leave that like that. Well, let's do the black with the red. Unless, how would the how would the gold look in there? Cause I really, yeah, let's do that instead. Cause I really don't want the red in there. So we'll just dot this up and make it lighter instead of black. Just a schnazzer up a little. Oh, that flickering's driving me crazy. I don't know how much it's showing up on camera, but grr. I'm recording a bunch of flip through videos because, yeah, I apologize very, very much for not getting many videos out to you guys this week. I had the best intentions of recording after the kids left each day. Let's do the blue, but oh my gosh, by the time they left, because it was another hard week, which I won't go into. I won't, I promise. Um, I was just dead tired. I was going to bed a good hour and a half to two hours earlier than normal. And I was actually sleeping in later than normal. So I just did not get videos recorded last week. So yeah, I am trying to play catch up now this weekend. Catch up, Heinz. What do you think? What do you think? Now, let's see if we can get some of the shinies. Oh boy, light, you are really driving me nuts. Okay, there's some. We got some shinies. Yeah, I like how that turned out. What do you think? Can't see all the shinies, but some of it's shimmering. I like how that turned out. What do you think of the colors? Yeah, like I said, not super happy with the roses, but now that everything's dried, I guess it's not too bad. I like the daisies. I like the lilies. I think everything else turned out good. So we are over an hour now. So I did spend a little bit of extra time doing the dual metallics, but like I said, I don't get to use these near as much as I want to. So I just had to get them out. And I probably will from now on when I color with marker for a color and chat because, oh, like I said, they just add so much. <gasps> Got to get the black out again. I missed some and you guys probably noticed that. And I have to do it or it's going to drive me nuts. Okay. All right, there we go. Well, thank you very much for clicking on this video and for watching it. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> if you are, thank you. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this color and chat, please hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you are not already subscribed, please uh, do so. Again, this was from 100 Flowers by Jade Summer. I will link this book down below. 
Um, I do have a general Arteza affiliate link. If you're interested in the Arteza Everblend markers, they have numerous different sets, skin tones, gray tones, the 120 set, and a 60 set. Um, and I will link the Pentel Dual Hybrids for those of you that do not have them. I know many of you do, but yeah, they're awesome. I didn't want to quite close this totally tight yet because I'm not sure if it's... Oh yeah, boy, that's nice. As juicy as they are, they dry really fast, don't they? Okay, I'm going to mark on that tag what I colored these with. So at the end of the month, I remember because yeah, like I've said in past videos, my memory is really good. It's just kind of short. Okay. All right. So I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend. And until next video, bye guys.